The Refutation of Skepticism If a man really wants to dispense with all judgments he cannot postulate as a general proposition that man cannot know with certainty, for that is itself a judgment. Then he cannot limit himself to the statement, I cannot know with certainty, and he cannot even say that it is probable that he knows nothing with certainty and he certainly cannot consciously doubt whether he knows anything with certainty. In doubting all knowledge, such a person assumes that he does know his own existence, and moreover knows the distinction between knowing something and not knowing something. Moreover, it is impossible to practice skepticism as a practical attitude to life. After all, if someone really wants to live on the basis of skepticism, he designates a purpose for this skepticism, and that is already a form of recognition of a truth. Moreover, it is not true that all people differ in their opinions about everything we can perceive and think. Indeed, there are first and fundamental truths that must be recognized by all because they are immediately manifest. The recognition of error is also already a recognition of truth, indeed, the denial of the truth of something is a confirmation of the falsity of the same. It is true that not everything can be proven. But it does not mean that it is impossible to find out the true status of our knowledge by reflection. Finally, the mind can indeed know the conformity with being by reflecting on the inner intention of judgment. After all, that intention is to express being as it really is. Even if not always in a perfect way. Even in our pure concepts, being has become manifest in some way.